All right, I just got access to Microsoft's Copilot. It is something that you can access through web browser. Here I am, I created an account and this is what I get to see right out of the bat. I see various prompts that I can get started with. Create, compare, chat, laugh, organize, write, code, etc. And I have a stack of things here, which I believe as I go and I start using the Copilot, my previous charts would probably be appear here, just like how chart GPT does towards the left. And one aspect that I don't see in chart GPT, but I see in Copilot here is the conversational style. So we have three options, more creative, more balanced and more precise. So let's see what we can do here. Let me start with code. Okay, so I'm going to write code. So when I click on the code tile here, it picked up the prompt there and the prompt says write a C sharp program to check if a number is prime. So it is giving me, I think it's it's probably thinking right now, C sharp program to check if a number is prime. I selected more balanced. Let's see what it uh, gets back to us. Usually in chat GPT, by this time, you get a response oh, quick and you can actually see the prompt being typed, you know, the response being typed in chat GPT, but that's not the case in Copilot. Looks like it's thinking behind the scenes and maybe once everything is figured out, it probably starts typing it out in the cons. So it's taking a while. It's been a while. So, okay, I'm, I'm seeing something like generating answers for you. This is actually, this is usually more than more than the time that I would spend in a typical generative AI tool. Obviously, I don't want to sit here until this thinks for a while and gets back to me with a response. But, you know, let's give it a try and see how long will it take. The question is actually simple. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, it looks like your connection has lost. I don't know what, what's wrong with this. My connection seems to be good. But let's try again. Or maybe the traffic is too high. Okay, I got the response. Okay. So I have code base here and then the general description of it. You can call this function like this and that. And I have some references as to where this, these lines of code were derived from. Maybe, okay, it gave us 30 different, different references. Okay, let me try more precise. And then I'm going to ask the same question. Okay, looks like I've got switched into a new chat when I selected more precise option. Mm, okay, this is good. It's writing step-by-step -step code for me. Okay, it gave me references as to where this... I'm looking at the URL. Looks like it's actually looking at a repository of this user. Let's select that and another repository and another repository. So this is not found. Okay, at least I can see where it derived this responses from. Let's see what else we can do. Or maybe we can compare what this response is from, from the other response that I got, which is more balanced. To my surprise, okay, I have the results. Sorry, I thought for a, for a moment, I thought the responses were gone and I have to redo it again. Looks like it's, it's there, it's cached. Okay, so here, when I selected more balanced, I have this here okay it's taking a while for me to for it to load the load the response that it generated previously so here i have this here i have this okay this is not good if i have to compare my responses between more balanced and more precise i have to wait a couple of seconds to copilot to load that information here all right so let's test something new what have, what do we have here okay maybe audio input so let me ask here okay Okay, I'm gonna love the browser. Write me a Terraform configuration file to create a virtual machine and a GCS bucket. Okay, so it's thinking. Okay, I don't see it doing anything. Earlier I used to get that it's searching for a C sharp program and getting an answer, but I don't see that anymore here. Maybe, maybe I have to start a new topic here. Okay, so 
more balanced more creative so i'll i'll say more creative because i've tried more balanced and more precise in my earlier prompt so in this case i'm going to ask write me terraform configuration file for creating a gce virtual machine and a gcs bucket in google cloud project Sure, I can help you. Sure, I can help you with writing a Terraform configuration file for creating a GCC virtual machine and a GCS bucket in Google Cloud Project. Here is a possible code snippet that you can use. Configure the Google Cloud provider. Okay, I got the response with the voice behind the scenes, so it went through the script and uh basically read read through it and gave me the code required to create a GCS bucket and a virtual machine. I was I didn't expect that it would be it would be speaking out but it did I'm really surprised here well that's good it looks like the code is pretty straightforward it gave me the resource blocks required for uh, creating a gcs storage bucket and a compute engine etc okay let's create a new topic okay so I'm going to ask and here write me an email wishing my team a happy thanksgiving and great holiday so let's put some typos here and see if it picks it up I can help you write an email to your team. Here is a possible draft. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello team, I hope this email finds you and all well and healthy. I want to take this opportunity to wish you all the very happy Thanksgiving and a great holiday season. You have all worked hard and delivered excellent results, blah blah blah. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and friends and I look forward to seeing you all again. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, this is cool. Okay for a moment when i first landed into this page i thought these are kind of agents where you know the the first impression i got looking at organize was maybe it takes an excel sheet and does some organization for us and when i saw this prompt maybe it allows us to upload a document to you know which has code in it which scans through it and tells us what that code does looks like that's not the case you all that you can do is type or ask questions through the microphone because it can read through your language i see an image here that's surprising so maybe we can add some image and ask questions so in here i'm going to upload an image and see if it helps us understand what's in the image is <clears throat> okay so I'm going to go here in pictures. I'm going to type up a prompt saying explain me this image. It's actually my image standing in front of a geothermal I don't know what it's called it's a uh, it's Yellowstone National Park I believe it has water that's pumping out from the earth okay it's a hot spring so it says the image appears to be a photo of a hot spring in national park the hot spring is a circular pool of water greenish blue so on and so forth and it gave me some references and closest hot spring national park where I could find similar pieces well that's pretty decent maybe i could have given you know a, a, a screen grab of a code or something and you know ask ask it to explain let's let's see if i can give another uh, image and see what it explains to us okay i'm going to give this piece of code explain this
It's analyzing the image. It says privacy blur hides faces from Bing chat. Okay, so it says it's a JavaScript function. The code you send is a JavaScript module that explain the function called left pad. And the image, whatever the code in the image is converted into the actual code where I can copy paste. And it starts giving me the explanation of the code and some reference links to Stack Overflow, Seed Geek, etc. It's pretty neat for something which is freely available out in the internet where you can go ahead and create an account and you know start using it okay so back to my point so you can ask questions you can type questions and you can provide an image to copilot to explain what exactly that image is about i think overall these are the features at a very very high level these are pretty much the prompts and your previous prompts are loaded here so you can go back anytime and look into it earlier when i was trying it it wasn't loading fast enough now i can see them you know loading it quite fast so i can export this delete this and go back and edit this so that's good okay edit the title of the chat, title of the chat interface okay that's good what else I got? Yeah, I think that's all. These are my initial impressions of Microsoft Copilot, your everyday AI companion. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you really like the video. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in, in the comment section. Happy to uh, respond to them. And if you want me to try anything, any of your prompts, let me know. And until next video, keep learning.